I don't want to make a big song and dance about it. But how goes this wind? Like, what? <laughs> I'm barely holding on to my umbrella. Like, check this out. Look at this <laughs> Hello beautiful souls, Avalon Cameron here and I am relishing in this experience. I'm standing underneath a giant umbrella looking out at this rain drenched landscape feeling cold and absolutely epic because we have received so much rain this morning which has in turn no doubt helped with the bushfire situations that are still currently playing out within our region. So the amount of rain that fell this morning was just so awesome. And the wind, it keeps lifting and falling and it's howling as it sort of like moves through the trees. I mean, it's currently about seven degrees and I'm struggling to hold on to my <laughs> After braving the weather with my umbrella and the epic winds, I get up to the cottage and I forget the keys. So back down I hobble in order to retrieve said keys. And can I tell you how freaking cold it feels like these winds, they feel like solidly up. definitely dark and moody today. So I suppose it's time to light it up. So what's this video about you may be asking and it's about this deck right here. This is the Connected and Free Alchemist Oracle by Inner Hue and I believe that's the Rebel edition actually. Now ordinarily I have been reading of late with these decks here which is Soul Cards 1, my demo version of the Bone Stone, and the Gaia Oracle. But since I have had to evacuate and pack things and do all that sort of stuff, I did end up packing the Gaia Oracle. And now <laughs> in the kerfuffle of unpacking, I cannot find it. So I'm confident I didn't leave it anywhere that I'm damn sure of, but I cannot find it. So I thought that I would reach for this one because it is one of the decks that I put in my evacuation witch basket, which by the way, now that it's sitting on my floor and I'm actually having a good look at it, I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck were you thinking? Like, what the actual fuck? This is the basket. Some decisions I, yes, agree with. Other decisions I'm like, huh. Anyways. Don't you love how my tripod right now is, is framing me? <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to do this because this is how we do. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the Connected and Free Alchemist Oracle because it was a big freaking deal when it first came out. I mean, do you remember... Those of you of the Cardslinger community who have been around for a while, you would know the hype that surrounded this deck upon its release. Now, if you are new to my channel and you have never before seen me hold this deck, this deck is absolutely beautiful. It is Australian made, created by a beautiful lady named Lauren, I believe. And she is also responsible for the Lumina Tarot, which is an absolute stunner, similar backing. Uh, same quality. The Lumina has three of these symbols on the back, whereas the Connected and Free only has the one, sort of like, see the centerpiece here? One-handed, folks, one-handed. And so this deck, the artwork of this deck is actually really beautiful, and I'm quite delighted that I thought to grab it 
uh, to add to my evacuation pack. But at the same time, I realized that I haven't actually reached for it um, since I've been here in Tasmania, which is coming up to almost eight months now, maybe seven, seven or eight months. I never know. I never know. But now that I'm using it again, I remember the magic. I remember the connection. I remember that connection. You know, the connection of a new deck with great art that you look at. Oh. Remember, remember the beautiful artwork. Look at this stunning artwork. Look at that good cardstock. Oh, look. Oh, look. Look at that. Higher knowledge indeed. But it's a beautiful deck. It's a beautiful deck that features quite a few animals, some chakra symbolism, some botanicals, these being mushrooms and moon cycles from the looks of things. And it's just... It's very earthy, it's very spiritual, it's very, uh, it's, it's almost whimsical. Uh, a little bit of sacred geometry there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I just think it's an absolutely beautiful deck. Hmm. So here's my thought for the day, if you want to hear it. And you're not obligated to, you can click away. But if you are keen to stick around then welcome welcome back to my channel it is so so wonderful to see your beautiful smiling faces this is the first type of vlog that i have done on my channel in a very long time and i'm keen to do more vlog style more witchy tarot type vlogs and i thought that i would start with this one and I'm also aiming to improve my filming style and put some of the awesome gear that I have to good use. So bear with me as I find my feet. That aside, and thank you for letting me just say that to you today. What I wanted to say here is that, yes, I have just rediscovered the Connected and Free Alchemist Oracle in my collection. And I thought highly enough of it to put it in my evacuation basket and take it away with me to preserve it should any of my <laughs> decks perish. And now I'm back and I'm looking at the decks that I chose to leave behind. There are limited edition out of print decks still left on my on, <laughs> still left on my um, bookshelf. And I'm like, what? The, what the <laughs> I mean, just look at that. The out of print fairy tale oracle right there. Spirit Keepers already out of print. There are so many out of print decks in there. I just can't even. And down there, and down there. I just, I just can't even. So what was I thinking? Well, uh, truth be told, I wasn't. I wasn't actually thinking. I was panicking and operating on stress mode. I think that that's what you would call it. Just panicked, just making panicked decisions. So I came in here, I swooped up, I grabbed a bunch of stuff. Well, they are the items that you will now find in my basket and one bag that at the moment I cannot find. Granted, I haven't fully unpacked my car yet. So hope, hope folks, hope it's a real thing. So the reason why I wanted to mention the Connected and Free Alchemist Oracle is because I find that with the creation of new decks every day, my own included, that we can sometimes forget the little treasures that we have buried in our collections. As our collections grow, and this candle is doing beautiful things here. As our collections grow, we can at times just disconnect from those decks that once bought us an intense amount of wonder, joy, mystery, magic. And this deck is definitely one of them for me. This deck left an impression. I remember when it first came out, I wasn't the first one to jump on the bandwagon. I rarely ever am when it comes to decks. Sometimes I am, and it's easier for me to jump on the bandwagon of a Blue Angel deck because they are Australian made, and I can oftentimes get my hands on Blue Angel decks um, pretty quickly. But for the most part, I'm well behind. <laughs> I'm well behind on jumping on these bandwagons and, you know, getting the first edition of this, that, and that. I just, I'm not interested in that. I'm not necessarily a technical collector, if that makes sense. I'm not at all 
drawn to having the newest deck all of the time. I am drawn to having the ones that speak the loudest to me, the ones that look like they hold a story, a narrative, an intrigue. And for me, that's probably the most important. So by the time this was actually sent out, this was a gift from my beautiful friend, Krishna Priya. And by the time this came out to me, the the deck itself had sold out twice over and they had this Rebel Edition and the Rebel Edition is what I've got. So I do believe it's probably got some kind of a defect in it or something like that. That's what they were calling the Rebel Edition at the time. Or perhaps it was just leftover decks from their first and second editions. Who knows? Uh, I didn't really think too much about it because I don't actually give a shit about that kind of thing. But I wanted to bring it again. I wanted to bring it out. I wanted to put it on my channel. I wanted to show it because it's such a beautiful deck. And for those who like to work with, you know, almost sacred geometry or landscape or botanicals or animals or the chakras and a mixture, just a, a really interesting, beautifully illustrated mixture of those things. I love that. I, that's probably one of my favourite, favourite images. I've actually tried myself to watercolour draw this and I've come close, but it never looks this amazing. Just just the, the actual red flower, not this little business that's going on under here. But it's so beautiful. And I really love the key words or the key phrases. You are exactly where you need to be. That's fine. This one here is resilience in rough seas. Like, look at that. I can actually relate to that. I I was actually in a cyclone situation when I was much younger on a massive coal liner, sailing around um, from, from Australia all the way to Brazil and down past Cape Horn. Fun story, but I digress. But this, oh, beautiful, it's just beautiful. And I never see anyone talking about this deck anymore. And I would just love to, I'd just love to do that. I would just love to start talking about some of my old favourites, the ones that really sort of like lit up the magic, lit up the eyes, bought the whimsy, bought the whimsy. <sighs> Tarot collecting can get quite consumer driven and quite materialistic in a way. That's not a criticism, it's just an observation, mind you. And I myself, as a Taurus, with a love for things, I love possessions, I just do, it's an inner battle. Uh, I have to sometimes pull my head in and call into question some of the, the items that I am choosing to bring because I can go through these moments of stress and frenzy and lean into retail therapy, which is like, the Taurus's crutch, really, when you think about it. And uh, and then I end up with things, things, stuff, things, all that kind of business that do not necessarily add quality or meaningfulness to my practice as a whole, whether that be my craft as a professional tarot reader or my craft as a witch. I just, I'm not liking it. I'm just in this place of just like, mm. So I thought that it'd be fun to do this little vlog and also to showcase some of the decks that I acquired a long time ago and loved and loved, like genuinely loved, like was obsessed with. And I haven't touched them since. So I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna make those into some like fun little vlogs. But I would also like to do, I would also like to do, just more witchy style vlogs, out and about style vlogs when the weather is permitting, mind you. Um, and my injured ankle permitting, mind you. But each item that I have in my collection, whether it be the items that I have on my altar at this moment in time, which let's have a look at that. These are the items that I have on my altar. There we go. These are the items that I have on my other altar. <laughs> There we go. And that extends up here. Because let's not forget the black salt. The items that I have in my shelves. There's a great many. There is a great many. I'm often asked my opinion about things. What does this crystal mean to you? How do you use that oil? What are your thoughts on statuary? And just all the questions. And I love answering the questions. And so what better way to do that than in some witchy vlogs? Some fun witchy vlogs 
that will give me the opportunity to practice some new filming skills that I have been observing and attempting to learn. So I'm finding that my interest in filmmaking or just improving my film, both quality and style, that interest has peaked of late and I've looked around at my gear and I actually love tech. If you never knew this about me, I, I absolutely love tech. And I have so much camera and filming gear, like good camera and filming gear, that it's ridiculous that I don't do more with it. Like, in fact, standing in front of a camera, just talking to it like this, without any transitions, any movement, any B-roll, any of that stuff, it almost seems like sinful. Sinful's the word. So there you have it, beautiful souls. Thanks for hanging out with me in this vlog style, witchy tarot thingy vlog style thing wonder thing. <laughs> I'm so moronic today. It's all the coffee and the epic green smoothie that my hubby made for me this morning. Nonetheless, that was it. Hope you liked the connected and free alchemist oracle and every tangent that I managed to throw into this vlog. And if you did like it, give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and click the notification bells so that you're notified when I post a new video. And wherever you are and whatever you are doing, just know that I'm giving you a warm hug. High five, probably, because that's actually something that I would do. And just know that I'm hoping that you are forever surrounded by magic. Much love, many blessings.